Hey guys, so we're back with another hair sponsor. Um, shout out to Cranberry Hair for sending me this hair. I loved it so much. They sent me three bundles of 22 inch and a 20 inch closure. Now this is Brazilian Straight. And you guys look at these bundles. They are everything. Look at the luster of that hair. These bundles were full from root to tip. And you guys, this hair is extremely, extremely affordable. If you guys are looking for some extremely affordable hair where you can get it long and that can take color, listen to this. I got you. We're going to go through all of that in this video, so just stay tuned. So as you know, all my wigs are made by a machine. Um, I sew all my wigs by a sewing machine. Um, if you guys want a video about that, comment down below. Um, I use silver sharpies to do my wig grafts um we're gonna measure our closure map it out once we mapped out our closure and we know where we want it to lay then we're gonna go trace it out and i lay my closures last my closures and frontals last um that's just easier for me that's the way i do it and again if you guys want a detailed video then just let me know um getting back to the wig wrapping part I've been doing this for about, you guys, it's been a little bit over a year. So for me, I can just graft a wig with my eyes closed and know where I want my tracks to lay, how many lines I need, based off of how many bundles I'm using, if I need to double them or not, and then also how dense I want the wig. So yeah, this is just really easy, but I'm just showing you, you guys, um, somebody had commented a while back and they said they want to see this part for some reason. Um, this is pretty easy, self-explanatory. My biggest tip for this step is just take your time, you guys. Um, when this step is neat and you grab your wig properly, your wig will construct neater. If you take your time sewing it as well, but this technique I love so much because it just gives you the proper track placement every single time. It leaves less room forever and you know where you're going when you're sewing. So once you're done with your wig graph, it should look something like this. You know, sis. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys the inside once the wig is all done and slayed and laid. Yes, honey. Look how flat, look how neat, look how professional that is. Um, again, like I said, I am taking wig orders. If you guys are interested, comment down below to get this quality, sis. We ship fast. And yeah, look at this just gorgeous bone straight 22 inch hair you guys you just can't beat this deal with the stick this hair is extremely affordable i'll leave their links down below i would highly recommend you guys to take them out i meant to check them out and in this clip i'm just um putting on the wig showing you guys how easy closure wigs are to install put on this wig has no combs no elastic bands no anything and it fits my head perfectly and it feels so secure and guys this, look at this Ooh, this is just so flat and seamless and just look at this movement and less i'm just obsessed with this hair uh, i just love it big shout out to cranberry hair for real because it's really hard finding quality vendors or quality hair that can have this movement have a natural sheen and that can actually take color Just look at that movement. Uh, Y'all know I'm just being silly. <laughs> I was dancing to music in this one. You guys can follow my business hair page. Pretty official wigs um, for the connect. And in this clip, you guys, I'm just curling the hair. I wanted to put some big loose waves in it just to really see if the hair could hold a curl. Um, honestly, it really didn't hold a curl as much as I wanted it to. But again, this is straight hair, so I really wouldn't recommend you really curling straight hair um, until it's like dirty or you may need some products in it just to give it a little bit more te texture to hold the curls. But yeah, these curls lasted maybe like a few hours. Um, they're big, they're loose. I absolutely love them. And now it's time for the color test, you guys. 
So since this is um, very affordable hair, I didn't want to go in with nothing too harsh on it. Um, I went in with a 20 volume developer. I did that about three times. Let it process about 15 minutes each time. And you guys, wait till you guys see this with these results. It came out to such a nice caramel color. My client, she loved it. We installed the wig on her and she just absolutely loved this wig. It looked like a sewing. So yeah, you guys, that's what I'm putting on. It's not bleach, it's developer 20 volume. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, that's a tip. Um, you can lighten your extensions using just developer. You don't have to use bleach. So I put it in the microwave for about three minutes. I used silicone conditioner you guys and this wig came out so silky and it uh the color just came out like it was brand new like i showed in the first clip this hair is just really smooth it's really silky um i'm just blow drying it right here and yeah you guys look at this color uh, look at this amazing color that this hair is giving and it still has shine we're pressing it right now so you guys can see it's still sleek, it's still smooth, it's still everything. Again, check out Cranberry hair. I'm not gonna fry. I was pleasantly surprised with this hair. This hair impressed me and honey, I'm a hairstylist. I do a lot of hair. So for this hair to be so affordable, yeah, I was definitely impressed. Like with one pass, you guys, it's getting like so pressed, period. And yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you guys are interested in my work or getting a wig made from me i will leave my comments down below i'm saying comments i mean information but yeah you guys i just love this hair so much thank you guys so much for watching until the next one peace